We are in the grip of a nationwide hysteria all over the country. People are arguing about Leaf and Romaine and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yes, it's the Great British Lettuce Crisis of 2017 with supermarket salad shelves looking as denoted as those of a Soviet bloc deli counter in the 1970s. As happens with all shortages of lack or green market has quickly sprouted. The modern equivalent of the pencil moustache spiff on the street corner is the internet seller. The type found on sites such as eBay and Gumtree like a rapacious slug. It has been reported that a man in Birmingham was flogging a box of 12 lettuces for 50. That's 10 times the usual price, making each lettuce worth 4.16, the same price per pound as a joint of silver side or a decent slab of brie. And even if you are fortunate enough to find lettuces at your local green grocer, the chances are they'll be rationed as if they were the dark days of the Blitz. Tesco and Morrison's have clamped down on any salad hoarders by stipulating that nobody may buy more than three iceberg lettuces at a time. The reason for the shortage is the weather. Many of the lettuces we buy are grown in Spain, which has been blotted by a triple whammy of drought, floods and a series of particularly hard frosts. In fact, it's hard to imagine less conducive conditions for growing lettuce. What makes things worse is that it looks as if the shelves will remain there for a while yet. The largest Spanish growers association, FAPEX, has warned the shortages will remain until at least early April for leafy vegetables grown in the open air like lettuces, endives and spinach. Contrary to the received wisdom that we Brits is chew anything healthy on our plates, we get through 800 million bags and heads of lettuce every year. Admittedly, that may only represent about one lettuce per person per month. But if we discount the millions of cholesterol clogged tubbies who only eat fast food, then those who do like to eat salad get through about one lettuce per week. So what's the solution? It's no good being told to set it out and wait. We need action this day. And the best sort of action is to do what our parents and grandparents did in the war and grow our own. However, that is not realistic. For a start, it's the wrong time of year to think about growing tender plants. Most parts of the country are just a few degrees above freezing and temperatures won't rise for weeks to allow seeds to germinate. In any case, most lettuces take two to three months to mature, by which time, all being well with the cost growers on the costas, we should have lorry loads of lettuce back on the vegetable aisles. But there is another method that can get you from seed to salad in just 30 days. It's called hydroponics, a method by which plants are grown in water loaded with nutrients, without so much as a grain of soil involved. Typically, growing salad leaves using hydroponics is carried out on an industrial scale. Indeed, many of the vegetables exported to Britain from Spain are grown using this technique. Farmers say they can almost double their production while saving energy, fertilizer and water costs while significantly preventing the pollution caused by agricultural machinery. Of course, few, if any, people grow lettuce domestically in this way because, under normal conditions, the economics make no sense. The only plants that people typically grow at home with hydroponics are ones that are expensive and hard to obtain, such as cannabis, which is, of course, illegal. However, with lettuce fast approaching the cost of good beef, hydroponics is a method that may just make sense. Nevertheless, be aware that hydroponic horticulture requires skills more akin to aquarium aficionados than alimentaries. There are two ways to get started. You can either build your own system from scratch or buy a DIY kit. The former may be a little cheaper, but not by much, and inevitably involves much more hassle sourcing components. Once you've made that decision, choose which method of hydroponics to go for. A local hydroponics dealer can steer you through the options of the deep water culture system versus the nutrient film technique plus all sorts of other methods too numerous to mention here as a very rough rule of thumb if you're going it alone plump or dwc if you're buying off the shelf the chances are it will be nft deep water culture means roots are submerged in a deep water nutrient solution while an air pump adds oxygen to the mixture of water and fertilizer without vigorous aeration submerged roots would rot and die if you are handy and patient, building a DWC kit is relatively straightforward. The internet is awash with how-to guides, and you'll soon notice that the key components are an opaque tub, air pump, an air stone, a bottle of nutrients, chemicals to keep the water mildly alkaline, some nest baskets, a 200-watt lamp to keep up the temperature, and a reflector. If you shop around, you can buy all these bits for just under 100. However, if you want to get started as quickly as possible, 
and let's face it there is a crisis on. Opt for a kit from your local hydroponics shop or an online retailer at my local shop Salisbury Hydroponics. Hydroponics.com You can buy a complete NFT system for around 150 Alternatively, Grow Well sells the Hobby Kit NFT 254 149.95. However, there is a difference with all these systems as they will only allow enough room to grow for plants at a time. This means factoring in the cost of running the lamp for a month that each initial lettuce will cost you in the region of 32 42.50. Of course, if you carry on growing after a month or so things start to get more economical but never as economical as buying a lettuce from a shop. If you can find one that is, yes, you can buy bigger kits but they still cost 252 350 so you'd have to be seriously in love with lettuce to go for it. However, there is another option, foraging. Even at this time of year, there can be plenty of wild plants available that would make great salad material. Wild garlic, dandelions, sweet violet, nettles, wood aveans, ground elder, bitter Chris and alexanders are all coming into leaf. They're a lot tastier and have more vitamins than a Spanish iceberg lettuce. And better still, they're free.